Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. I was requested by a few of you guys to make more KWGT tutorial videos. So I thought, for those of you looking for step by step guides and advice, I'd make a mini series just for you. Each episode building on top of the last. I'll be showing you how to customize your KWGT widgets, as well as how to create your own from scratch. So if you like this type of video and want to see more in the series, make sure you like and subscribe to show your interest. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any video requests or suggestions. So here we are with episode 3. This time we're going to be looking at weather widgets. Specifically, I'm going to be covering these 6 unique KWGT widgets and how you can create them from the ground up. But before we get started, make sure you check out the previous episodes for the breakdown on these custom clocks and the basics of KWGT manipulation. But if you're after my live wallpapers, the link for those are going to be in the description below. Now that we've got that out the way, let's get into the weather widgets. As we're creating each one, we're going to be building upon the last, starting from a very basic setup and ending in a more complex one. Now in order to follow this tutorial, you're going to need KWGT Custom Widget Maker, its Pro Key, and for the weather icon components, here I'll be using the resources from the KWGT Nibia pack. As a quick note, you can use any KWGT pack as long as it includes a weather widget. So let's kick things off by making ourselves a basic weather widget. Simply just load in a KWGT layout to your home screen. Personally, I always go with a 4x4 layout and then adjust it as I need to. Now simply tap on it to open the widget maker and hit new. So now that we have our blank canvas, let's start by loading in Nibia Pack's weather icon component. Just simply tap on the plus button and head into the component section. Here, you'll be able to access the elements of KWGT packs that you have previously installed. Such as for these examples, we're going to be using the weather icon from the Nibia pack. Once loaded in, these weather icon components are preset to update automatically with the change in weather. Next, let's add in additional weather information, such as the temperature, cloud distribution, and the date. For this, just add in a new text element, reposition it, and finally head into the text section. Now here, you can manually enter the formulas that I'm indicating on screen, making sure to separate each one with a comma, or you can head into the weather section and pick from the pre-made formulas there. And finally, just adjust the sizes of each of the elements until you get to something you're happy with. And remember to hit save before you leave. Next up, the simple square gradient weather widget. This time, just simply hit the plus icon and load in a shape. By default, this is going to be set to being a square. Now simply increase the size and using the corner slider, round off the edges before heading into the paint tab. Now here, we're going to change the color from the default white to black. And finally, to add that transparent gradient effect, just simply head into the effects tab and change the texture from none to vertical gradient. Now simply use the color transparency slider to make it see through as I'm showing on screen. To finish off this widget, you want to load in the Nibia pack weather component. This time I've gone for the more colorful version and then add in the temperature indicator text similar to what we did in the first widget. Next up, this awesome double layered widget. The key to this contemporary look is simply reordering the items that make up the widget. Here, we're going to rebuild the last widget, but this time, we're going to add in an extra shape. So firstly, let's change the shape from the default square to a triangle and then resize. Now along with changing the color to match the rest of the widget, we're also going to change the style from fill to stroke to leave only the outline of the shape. But as you can probably tell, because we loaded it in last, it's actually sitting in front of the rest of the widgets. So to push it to the back of the widget, we just simply have to head to the item listings and drag the triangle shape from the bottom of the list to the very top. And for those of you wondering, here are the codes that I use for this setup. Next up, this unique weather widget with an integrated battery level indicator. Just simply load in the triangle shape, resize it and use the rotation option to realign it, just as I'm showing here. 
Next, we're going to add in a progress item. By default, this is going to be set to indicate your phone's battery level. Now you're going to want to adjust the size and height of the bar until it matches perfectly with the dimensions of the triangle. And bear in mind, you're also going to want to rotate the bar so the battery indicator is moving in the direction that you want. Now the final part of this is to head into the progress bar's color tab and change the filter from normal to multiply. This is going to combine the properties of the bar with the layers below it. Now you're free to customize the colors of the progress bar as you wish and even add in a gradient effect to the triangle below as I've done. As for the rest of the widget, the codes that I used are on screen now. This next widget is going to be a very quick one. Here I'm going to briefly cover how you can make these holes within your solid shapes. Just simply start by loading in your background as I've done so here. Next you want to load in a secondary shape and reposition it where you want the hole. And finally head into that shapes paint tab and change the filter from normal to clear. This will make the shape as well as every other layer below it transparent. Now the sixth and final widget is made up of a combination of all of the previous with the use of a gradient backdrop, the weather icons and even the formulas. But what really stands out about this widget are the humidity and cloud level indicators. So jumping into it, the humidity and cloud labels are simple text items which have been repositioned at 90 degrees and the humidity and cloud bars are simple progress bars with a minor adjustment. Just simply load them in and then change the progress option to custom. Next, just select the level option using the tick box and then tap on the calculator icon in the top right corner. Now head into level and enter the formulas that I'm showing on screen. One for each of the progress bars. And in order to ensure the levels are accurate, make sure you change the section options for both bars to 100. And there you have it. Six cool weather widgets that you can make yourself. Let me know in the comments if you want to follow up with more complicated weather widgets. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. Follow me on Instagram and make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.